for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please pause for the 30 seconds of silence. Good morning, Grizzlies. I'm McKenna. And I'm Lorenzo. And I'm Autumn. With your good your Grizzly News Network today is Thursday, April 25th, 2024. We are counting down to prom, and today we are living in the shadows of a solar eclipse, so there will be a lot of dark colors roaming the halls today. Remember, today we are on, a, on the assembly schedule and we are silent bells for the rest of the semester because of testing. So wait to be released each period by your teacher. When you go into the gym, you sit with your graduating class. Here is a looking at where each group sits with so many focused on prom this weekend. We want to see how important this event is and how people remember it gave James and the video show us how teachers remember their prom and why it was important to them. I did go to prom. Yes, I went to my high school prom. I did. Well, I actually went to prom almost a century ago, 1978. Yes, I went to prom. Uh, our high school prom was at Heartland Mansion, which is no longer even a place you can go to anymore. So Heartland Mansion has these winding staircases and marble everywhere. It was very unique, old school Vegas. Um, you got dropped off at what looked like somebody's house. And our prom was at the windows of the world in New York City. Um, it was Spring Valley's prom and we went to uh, like a church. Yeah, it was like something gardens. It was like right next to a church. Mm -hmm. We rented a limo and we all stuck our heads out the moonroof. I totally remember that. I mean, the only funny thing to me now as an adult is that I went with my high school boyfriend, but then my husband was there, who I am now married to. So <laughs> we got uh, really dressed up. I mean, really dressed up. They all had limos. Um, they served dinner there, a form very formal dinner. They threw an after party for us at a club. So they shut a club down and we stayed up all night long and it was called Dawn Delirium and they raffled off a car. I went with all my friends and we rented a, a limo. So I actually had Miss Lisa give me a sash for most sweetest. I can tell you that there was a blown out tire in Kenny Casper's van and Kenny Casper's van had like 20 people shoved in the van. You got all these people that stepped out onto the street and they're all in their tuxedos and their beautiful dresses and, all, and no ride. Uh, yes, I would definitely recommend students go to their prom. Um, I think it was an unforgettable experience. Whoever you go with, um, whether it's a friend or your date, uh, like mine ended up being my wife later on, but um, whoever you go with, it's uh, an experience that you'll end up talking with them forever. Oh, 100%. Definitely, definitely go to prom because prom is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You have just a few days left to secure your tickets to prom, which is this Saturday, April 27th. Tickets are $85 and prom will be at Illuminary next to Area 15, but will not have access 
access to the rest of Area 15. Remember, if you have a guest, they must have their guest pass to enter. The nominations are in for this year. Senior from King and Queen, making up prom court. Our nominees for King are Isaac, James, Logan, Tippy, and Andrew. And for Queen, the prom court is Selena, Zoe, Dana, Ashley, and Jade. If you are selected for prom court, you may campaign leading up to prom. Final voting will take place at the dance. Make this prom unforgettable. Hey McKenna, Spring Valley got another big award? Big news for Spring Valley High School. It was named as one of the best high schools in America. U.S. News just released its list of the best schools and Spring Valley made the list. So how did we get this award? U.S. News ranks almost 18,000 high schools based on the enrollment, graduation rates, test scores, and course offerings. Our scorecard shows how we rank this recognition is thanks to all the hard work students put in to do their best every day. There are a couple of clubs being held today. Speech and debate is meeting in Portable 4 for kids who like to argue their points. Soul meets in room 224, and they are hoping to have new members, so come check them out. National Science Olympiad is also meeting today at room 910. Environmental Club will be meeting in room 923. Our Service Club, Key Club, meets in room 200. Skills USA for our video production and computer CTE students meets every other week in room 225. Or you can join Stuco today after school in room 503. Animation Club is today after school at room 918. Pacific Islander Club is in back is back in action. Join them today in room 317. Remember, all clubs meet at 2.01 p.m. This week, student, this week is Student Leadership Week, and we are talk, taking time to shine a spotlight on students here on campus who are making a difference. Today's leader is Esther. <laughs> just struck me as someone who's so resilient and always like uh, will do whatever she can to make things better for other people. Um, she's just really a compassionate and motivated person. And her personality in terms of she's very caring about other people. She's been through some challenges in her life and I think lots of times when you've been through a few things it makes you want to make life better for other people. In Student Council, IB Council, Environmental Club, NHS, and Spanish Honor Society. Um, I just really like trying to form a community with the people on campus, which is why I try to get around and connect with as many groups as possible. I really enjoy being in Student Council because I like planning the things that we get to do around campus. I'm currently, I'm the Senior Class Vice President for Student Council, and I'm the President of IB Council, and I'm the Historian for Environmental Club. I really like planning events to better like the whole population and also this year I'm more focused on the seniors as the vice president and I really just want to do more fun things for our last year and just hope that everyone enjoys the last few months of high school. Thank you to all our students even those we couldn't feature for all you do to lead here on campus. A big congrats to our jobs for Nevada graduate students. They competed in the year employability skills competition on Monday. Alec earned the first place award for public speaking readiness out of more than 400 students. Great job. Seniors, some important information for you in the last month of school. This is new this year. You are required to fill out a form that agrees to the following certain expected behaviors at graduation. Anything added to your graduation gear must have approval first. 
The following items cannot be worn during the ceremony, but can be worn for photos before. You are not allowed customized or photo stilts, no personalized caps, no money or candy leaves, and no flags. All forms must be returned to either the front office, the IB office, room 908, or room 710 by May 3rd. And May 3rd will be a special day for our graduating seniors. That, that will be when we celebrate them in a grad walk at the end of the day. Seniors, it is important that you are on track to graduate by April 30th because that is the day counselors will be checking grades for the ability to take part in Friday's grad walk. Just as one spirit week wraps up, we have another. Next week is all about celebrating accomplished weeks accomplishments with our seniors wrapped week for monday hits news and head into school in your pajamas again then on tuesday find a friend and twin them for twin day on wednesday is pink and white day thursday is as it was day dress as your younger self and friday is running out of time wear a college shirt and get ready for your grad walk all of that leads up to your Senior Sunset Field Day. Senior Sunset this year will be Field Day and it will take place on May 3rd from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. You can purchase tickets on Ticket Spicket for $10, which will include a t-shirt and food. Vegan options are available. You must wear your t-shirt to play in the water games. Come prepared and get to get soaked and make memories that will last a lifetime. Along with those events, the Senior Awards Night is tonight from 6 to 8 p.m. Prom is scheduled for April 27th from 7 to 10 p.m. Senior Sunset Day has been changed to Friday, May 3rd. Then Grad Night will be from Friday, May 17th. All leading to graduation Wednesday, May 22nd at 3 p.m. at the Thomas and Mack Center. A final countdown is on, seniors. Hey, Lorenzo, what's happening in sports? We are wrapping up this week with baseball and swimming. Today, Varsity Baseball is playing Centennial at home at 3.30, and JV is playing them away at Mountain Ridge Park at 4.30. This Saturday, our swim and dive team will be participating in their second to last swim meet of the season at the Pavilion Pool. Facing Basic High School, it will be at 9 at 8 a.m. We have some basketball players competing in the All-Star Game. Two of our female Grizzly athletes, Charlotte and Melanie, will be part of the part of the women's team, as well as four of our male athletes, Jamo, Jordan, CJ, and Joshua will be playing, along with Alaya, Jamo, and Jordan, who will be participating in the three-point contest. The 2024 annual All-Star Basketball Game is next Sunday, May 5th, at Coronado High School. Go to balldogs.com for more information. Make sure to go out and support our Grizzly athletes. In national news, the Miami Heat tie up their series. In last night's game, they won 111 to 101 against the Celtics, and they have a new record of three pointers in the playoffs. Last night, they scored 27. Today, the Lakers play the Nuggets in L.A. And Cam, what's the weather looking like for the rest of the week? Grizzly. On thir today will be partly cloudy with 78 degrees as a high and 58 degrees as a low. And tomorrow will be rainy with 65 degrees and a low of 54 degrees. On Saturday, um, it would be partly cloudy with a high of 76 degrees and a low of 57 degrees. On the Sunday, it will be 80 degrees and 63 low. Hey Grizzlies, the Las Vegas Animal Foundation is launching a new walk-in kitten fostering program for this week. The foundation said they've taken in more than 300 kittens this month and are asking the community for foster families. Community members can come to the shelter between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. 
be trained by a staff member and take a litter of kittens home the same day. All week the shelter will be will provide all of the necessary supplies. You can stop by the low cost vaccinating clinic at the Animal Foundation, which is located at 655 North Mojave Road. Scan the QR code for more information. Now go back to the at. Now If you missed anything important, or if a QR code went by too quickly, you can find these daily announcements on YouTube. You can search up Sp Spring Valley High School and look look for our JNN and Grizzly logo for the correct school. This was McKenna. And Lorenzo. And Autumn. Maddie. Maddie, Keaton, and Cam with the Grizzly News Network. Have a thrilling Thursday.